What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Rex Righteous, and I'm back with another Raff Rant. All right, so I wanted to upload a video as well because um, I have another video being uploaded as we speak that is gonna take a little while. It was like a 30-minute video, so if you're into like podcasting or anything like that, um, go ahead check it out. Um, uh, that's the next video that's going to be um, uploaded if you're already watching this. This should be a little short. So um, I was looking at some stuff, some of the interviews for Triple G. Um, I find it very interesting that um, Abel Sanchez is no longer with uh, Triple G. So it, to me, it's not like a big deal. But I am very intrigued in what Triple G wants to change because, to be honest with you, I've never seen a fighter who uh, presented like that much classiness in boxing. Um, he was very, very uh, dedicated and um, very strict on himself on how he should present fight like fighting he always spoke spoke about the sport as if that's all he cared about and it, it made people like uh, me or hardcore fans that are boxing fans um really appreciate his way of thinking or his way of uh presenting himself to the to the boxing world so you know, to me, it was like very close to perfect, like a very flawless style. Regardless if he gets knocked out, if he gets hurt, if he gets punched, if he looks bad. To me, there are still uh, certain fighters that their style was grade A. It's just another style could have been the right style to beat that grade A fighter. Like Mayweather losing to Castillo. That first fight, he lost to me, okay? But Mayweather has had great showings. Like, I think one of his best fights, if not top three, was versus Miguel Cotto. That Mayweather looked phenomenal. Okay, don't want to go too far from the subject of what we got going on here. But when you're damn near, like, perfect when it comes to style and your decisions, uh, the, 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 the punch you decide to throw when things are right, uh, when, when things look awful, when, you know, he's had enough fights, Triple G's had enough fights where you can see uh, what he decides to do when he, when things get hot, when um, a fighter's being awkward, uh, whether he's fighting in the UK where, you know, uh, he, he fought a, a guy out there. I think that was for a title, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but he fought in the UK and and, and uh, it took him 11 rounds to knock him out. And uh, before that, um, he hadn't t taken that long. And, uh, I know that from that interview, I, I, I heard him speak once uh, on the fight. Forget his name. I know it's with an M. I'm forgetting his name. Um, but he said that it was over for him by the ninth or tenth round. He was already feeling a lot of pain. He just didn't want to uh, mess it up for the fans. But anyway, to go back into what I was saying about Triple G, because I don't want to lose my train of thought here. Um, I thought it was he was really close to being perfect. Like his style, maybe is pretty perfect, but. Some of it is a mental game, and I was watching uh, some of the Under the Wraps interviews that Triple G has had with uh, one of the homies that I met uh, doing this media stuff. And um, if, if you don't know about Under the Wraps, go and check them out. They have a very solid um, YouTube um, following, and their 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 professionalism, the, the, the new way that they um, add on their uh, camera views and stuff like that and it's very innovative and I love it because I went to a little graphic design school I always 
mess around with cameras and I think that it's really cool that these guys are in the game now and they're getting some um, coverage so they did a really good job go and check them out that's kind of where I got some of my information not all of it but some of it um, and um, you know they're doing a good job so uh, basically what I was trying to say was that um, uh, Triple G was was trying to point out that he didn't really want to change um, coaches but he needed something new and um, uh, I guess this uh, this might be temporary I'm not sure but I know that in the interviews he said he needed something new he's not really detailing everything so maybe I I might be spinning it right now with, with the whole he didn't want a new trainer, but I think he did. And when it comes down to him saying he needed something new, yes, he needed a new trainer. That's I didn't mean to say it that way, but the point is, is that um, this new guy, Jonathan Banks, is there to add something new. Re is refreshing. So um, uh, it, it seems like to me, um, Triple G became a really good fighter with Abel okay um, Abel unlocked some potential in Triple G uh, but there were some things said in the interview that Jonathan Banks said and he mentioned that uh, Triple G was sparring with heavyweights he was sparring with cruiserweights he was sparring with light heavyweights um, and he said that birds of a feather uh, uh, phrase. So basically he's saying that if Triple G is hanging out with guys that are 20, 50 you know, pounds heavier than him, then he's going to start to move like them. He's going to start to think like them. He's going to start to operate like them. And he says that there are heavyweights that are, that are quick, but they're just not middleweight speed. And I think that's where they got a little bit out of control. So that's what Jonathan Banks was basically trying to um, uh, convey to us as fans and as the, and as the as the reporter was listening in. Um, it didn't it didn't um, it wasn't a big deal in the interview, but it was one of those things like oh wow you know it it caught the reporter's eye and I I, I definitely was like whoa this this makes sense. Um, I didn't, I didn't think about that and, and obviously we saw the pictures Triple G fans reporters media people they all saw the pictures of Triple G next to um, I think it was Joe, Joe Joyce or it, it, it was some heavyweights you know and I do know that there's some European um, you know Eastern Bloc fighters in the Abel um, uh, roster or, 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 or stable or people that, that fight for that gym some of them are bigger and um, I know that Gassif is over there um, you know maybe he was sparring with him I don't know but point is that he needed to get back to the basics you know uh, Triple G w is always looking for challenges he's always looking for something new but the basics are important now Jonathan Banks is a year younger than Triple G he still thinks like a fighter, which is important. And I don't think they're going to have anything go wrong as long as they're not having any big fights. Um, Triple G is very dedicated. He's a gym rat. That's what was described by Jonathan Banks. And to me, I think they're going to be doing well in the future. So what do you guys think of that? Did, did it ever cross your mind that he shouldn't be uh, you know, sparring with heavyweights now. I think Triple G needs to learn how to uh, fight going backwards a little bit more. Not that much more, but it does make sense now to me that uh, sparring with heavyweights was a bad idea to do it for so long. You know, maybe for one training camp, cool. You know, we figured out some things, but. You know the power is not that necessary when you 
or knocking people out easily. I mean, the way he was doing it before was so easy. He Why did you have to up it so much? So um, I guess he needed a, a, a place to put his power. And now Triple G is coming off a little bit more, more agitated. He just seems like he's not happy with the position he's in. And I truly think that a part of it has to do with the fact that uh, he might be stuck. He might be like uh, in, in tunnel vision when it comes to uh, what happened to his titles. He might not be happy. He might um, he might not be uh, all the way excited. So he might want that knockout with um, his next fight with Rolls. But uh, I truly do think that him uh, learning to fight back, going backwards, and not not too crazy, but just some some more movement, maybe some more elusiveness or just work on your speed or anything like that but you know he fought really well against Canelo so I don't think he should change too much but maybe it's the mindset the stress the wear and tear you know of the everyday uh, sparring and whatnot you know having big big guys hit you and all this stuff you know uh, it could have been a dilemma for, for Canelo if, if Triple G would have came in with a different style but um the fight happened already. There was the results of the results. Uh, there's no way to get out of that. You know, there's nothing to change when it comes to that. But Triple G, uh, he can still bring that fire, and we will see. We will see on June eighth. So let me know what you guys think. Um, comment, share, like. Um, this was just a rant. I'm gonna try to hit you guys with some more stuff. Um, maybe some more stuff on, on uh, some of the upcoming fights. But until next time, folks, I'm out. Um, let's try to keep boxing alive. Peace out, yo.